Stay frosty and head over to EasyMutt.com for the cheapest mutt coins on the market. And when I say cheapest, I mean it. We're talking 1 million coins for around 40 bucks. Use code DIRECTOR for 5% off. Yo, what up, brothers? What's up? It's the director. You guys ready for the first custom card art video on the brand new channel? I say let's go. We're going to shoot this one a little old school today with the backdrop and everything because I want the focus to be on this brand new card art for Ultimate Legends that are going to be coming out this weekend. Yes, it's been confirmed by Kralo on GMM. We're going to be getting ULs, the first batch of ULs this weekend. And honestly, in the past... We've seen the launch of a new promo like Legends or Ultimate Legends uh, be greeted with like not just one or two Legends, but like six or seven Legends. If I had to guess, I would say that we're probably going to get a batch of about seven Ultimate Legends this upcoming weekend, and it should be a good time, guys. So uh, we're going to go over six custom cards that I have Photoshopped. Again, these are Photoshopped by me. If you're brand new to the channel, don't go crazy because this isn't the official card. This is my interpretation of what I think the card should look like as well as the uh, the stats you just basically follow you know like maybe plus five or plus six from the last card that they got so should be a good one today guys before we do get started hit us up with a like and sub if you do enjoy this content the small amount of time you guys take to hit the like sub and bell notification helps me out a lot brand new channel guys hit that like and sub really really helps out a ton let's get into this video lights camera Here we go, boys. Our first custom card art episode. Let's go ahead and start with one of the glitchiest quarterbacks we saw at the beginning of Madden 21. Yes, sirs, Dan Marino. Now, I don't know if this quarterback will be anything to scream about because, of course, we just got our first uh, 99 overall quarterback in the game in Tom Brady via the Super Bowl MVP. But I do think a lot of people still love Dan Marino, who, in my opinion, is one of the best pocket passing quarterbacks in the game. And, of course, you'll be able to get things like Gunslinger and Hot Route Master on him. So, I mean, this Dan Marino, man, he should be a good time for everybody. Uh, real quickly, to just kind of go over the overalls last season the ultimate legend started off at 96 overall so i'm showing you guys kind of like the ultimate legend like the limited version of them with the two you know uh pictures on the front so it should be a good time 97 overall 98 throw power with 95 95 in the short and medium and 94 in the deep accuracy with really good throw under pressure as well i think dan marino would be a fine addition to madden ultimate team as far as the ultimate legends and honestly these are the kind of cards that should go down in price really quickly and dan marino could be that budget quarterback in the next couple of weeks to lead you into what we call the end game next up probably one of the best users in madden ultimate team history taylor mays now i know we just got derwin james okay we did just get derwin james but what ea madden ultimate team likes to do a lot is that when we get a really nice free card they usually try to top it in the same position with another card. So I would not be surprised to see an end game Taylor Mays make his way into the game. Now, for value, I think Derwin James is definitely the best uh, user in the game. But Taylor Mays might be the best user in the game when he does come out. I think I have him listed as free safety here, but he should be a strong safety. Still, 96 speed and acceleration. Ridiculous. You're talking 99 speed. Uh, I think you would have to power him up from his 96 overall, but still very accomplished. 86 man coverage which again uh, with chemistry you can get it up over 90 and then you'll have like 99 zone and hit power on this card with proper chemistries too so this would be one of the best uh, cards in the game I think a lot of people would be excited to see Taylor Mays make his way back in uh, Ultimate Legends next up a running back that would perfectly fit the new meta we found ourselves in Reggie Bush. Now, of course, I mentioned archetype because Reggie Bush, when he first came out, was one of the best 
uh, running backs in the game because he was a receiving back as far as archetype. And why that's significant is because you can get backfield master, which gives you all the nice hot routes that are very glitchy with uh, running backs uh, on him for one ability point. And a lot of people like running these receiving backs because they like to pair them with maybe a strong arm or scrambling archetype quarterback. So either way, Reggie Bush, even if he wasn't a receiving back, this running back would be absolutely insane. I went ahead and had juiced him a little bit with 97 speed, 98 acceleration, 97 agility, 95 break tackle, and 97 change of direction are really going to come in handy with this card too. With 88 catching on top of that, he'd be the best receiving halfback in the game. And honestly, I don't see his stats being too far off from this. He might be a, a speed or two slower, but with chemistry, especially on a theme team, I think Reggie Bush would absolutely be the best running back in Madden Ultimate Team. So we're going to kick off the running back position with him. Next up, I mean, we just got a free Derwin James, right? They might pump the market with a couple of really nice strong safeties. We got John Lynch. Now, if the Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team wasn't glitchy enough. Now we're talking about giving John Lynch an upgrade via Ultimate Legends as well. Now, he's not the fastest guy in the world, 94 speed. But again, on a theme team, you're talking 99 speed. On a regular team, you're talking like 92 speed or something. Or sorry, 97 speed or something like that. So it would be a really, really nice item on anybody's squad, especially considering that John Lynch is a bit taller for a safety with that really nice 98 hit power, 94 zone coverage, 95 man coverage with 96 pursuit i think a lot of people would have a lot of fun with john lynch and honestly when he first came out maybe the timing wasn't right he was still very good but he wasn't the best safety in the game i think this would make an excellent user for anybody who wants a change of pace at their maybe you know diamond nickel uh, linebacker spot so john lynch is going to be the selection here next up <laughs> Another former Tampa Bay Buccaneer, but more importantly, a former San Diego Charger. We've got ourselves Vincent Jackson getting an upgrade. Now, a lot of these cards you'll notice came from the 50 promo that launched earlier in the season. And uh, Vincent Jackson was one of the first ones to get a card. So a 91 overall, really out of date. I think a 97 overall is very appropriate for Vincent Jackson, clocking it at 95 speed. And again, on the outside of a theme team, you're talking 97, 98 speed, but very, very nice on the outside. On a Chargers theme team, an obvious 99 speed situation, which is very, very nice. Even a Bucks theme team you can pair him up with Mike Evans you got a nasty duo of wide receivers but where Vincent Jackson really stood out to me when he got his 50 card was his catch catch and traffic and spec catch which should all be very close to 99 with the proper chemistries on top of that you can add really decent route running as well Vincent Jackson is going to be one of those forces to be reckoned with uh, on the outside as far as wide receivers and honestly I'm very excited to, for the for the day that we do get an upgrade to VJax because the kind of uh, wide receiver he is he would complement you know chargers and bucks theme teams very very well and honestly one of my favorite uh players of all time as far as san diego chargers so vincent jackson's gonna be the pick and finally let's break down the card we saw at the top of the show Dominic Rogers Cromartie, a.k.a. DRC. Now, this is likely going to be the card you guys see on the thumbnail of this video, and it's because this card would be an absolute beast on everybody's squad. As a matter of fact, the Chargers defensive backcourt, as far as Madden Ultimate Team was concerned, was so juiced at the beginning of the season, I did not need DRC, but DRC just made so many plays that I decided to make room on my Chargers theme team to keep him around. And of course, you can't can't forget the uh, height on DRC around 6263 ridiculously good Madden ultimate team cornerback so at 97 speed it doesn't get much better than that 96 acceleration and again we're talking 99s across the board outside of a theme team maybe not even powered up if you've got the right kind of chemistries 96 jump 96 man coverage 94 zone coverage 96 press so with zone coverage he'll be maxed out at 99 99 speed 99 acceleration 99 man zone press everything this is your true end game cornerback if you decide to go in that direction so drc is going to close out the custom card art for this video now 
in the comment section below. This is where you guys come in and tell me which one of these legends would you like to see come to the game and which uh, legend that maybe I didn't uh, list in this video would you like to see most come into the game this weekend. And I also want you guys to ask yourselves, um, maybe is there a chance that we do get a free ultimate legend sooner than we got a legend last time? We got a free legend in the game via solos and stuff. It ended up being kind of a buzzkill because everybody pulled something that wasn't relevant in the game anymore. I'm hoping that new Ultimate Legends solos and stuff allow us to get one while the cards are relevant. I remember a couple years ago, they were able to give us a couple of free Ultimate Legends when it really mattered, and it was a lot of fun. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you did enjoy this custom card art episode, hit us up with a like and sub on your way out. This has been The Director. We'll see you next time. And as always, bolt up and stay frosty.